One of my most favorite things to do was to go spend time with them in the field, and you'd find every excuse to go jump in a truck and go see something. And Aaron doesn't even know it, but the Elk River runs more water for its length than every, any river in the United States. Really? I think I had heard that somewhere. Yeah, I'm sure she knew that. I was just giving her a hard time. It's a fairly short river with an incredible snow basin drainage. We're lucky we have this river. The elk is the main contributor to the Yampa flow. The top, it's really wild. Even all the way down, it's wild. This river is unique in that it still flows unencumbered. There's a lack of large-scale reservoirs that have allowed this river to, to function like it has for millions of years. When we get big snows in these mountains and that water comes off in the spring, it fills up this river and overflows its banks, and floods the fields, and it connects to the land. Uh, the river still functions as a free-flowing river. Uh, people call it the, the last large river with a natural hydrograph, which is something that not lots of rivers are able to do anymore. Because we don't have these bigger reservoirs, the river drops quickly. And that drop is something that we have to deal with. Working with this wild river is one of our tough management issues. What happens with climate change and how the hydrograph shifts, maybe we have to shift with it. Can we shift how we manage ag? Can we shift how we manage recreation? Might be very, very challenging. A dog has always got to come with. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> if I don't need this water, there's programs that I can lease it to Colorado Water Trust to keep it in the river to benefit the to benefit you downstream. This ranch is under a conservation easement. We did that to tie the productive water to the land so that it couldn't be sold off to Denver. We understand the benefits of land stewardship, and let's start turning our focus to water stewardship and how can we best utilize this resource uh, because the, the demand on it is going to continue to grow, whether it's over the hill in Denver or down in California or right here in our backyards. There are many people at the table discussing the future of water in Northwest Colorado. Watch more episodes, ask your questions, and connect to organizations managing our water at yourwatertable.org.